Morning my friends, from Dahab, a small hippie paradise in Sinai in Egypt. And from uh, and I'm the roof of an abandoned hotel, right in the heart of the tourist village, which is uh, interesting. And you can see the marvels of Dahab, Ullah. Just in front you have Saudi Arabia, and all that that you see, the shallow water you can see here, it's a big coral reef that you have just in the city. And look at that. We are right in the middle of the city. Basically, I'm staying somewhere there on the right, not far. You can see it's all desert all around. This way is the famous Blue Hole, one of the most famous diving spots in the world. And this way is, this is the street where all the tourists stay with the expensive restaurants. And you can see people swimming and here enjoying, discovering the corals of the hub. And here people are getting ready to dive because it's the main activity around here. Okay, so join me in this video. Let's discover the hub. But first, yeah, we are in a abandoned hotel, so let's just get out of the hotel first. Okay, let's go down. Oh, oh, oh. What a place to start a video. Look at that. Abandoned toilets, Egyptian toilets. Oh, I guess that used to be a room. There's the bed. The bed is gone. The mirror is broken. And the toilets are very dirty. Let's see this way. Okay, let's go down. I don't know if it's that the hotel went bankrupt because of COVID or if it's something else, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite uh, heavily destroyed. <laughs> you can see that's probably the reception area with a lot of garbage inside. And the swimming pool here, with just behind you have, you have the coral reefs that you can see from here as well. But well, okay, where is the entrance? I don't remember. Oh, that's the entrance. Well, that's... Uh, this hotel is not very representative of what uh, Dahab is. Dahab is well organized with uh, nice hotels everywhere, well organized for tourists. And it's very cheap also, very cheap compared to Sharm el Sheikh, especially, which is a more, much more famous uh, resort destination. But Dahab is more like for, uh, well, hippies, backpackers, stuff like that. <laughs> People like that. <laughs> cheap travelers, basically. What is great in the hub, as you can see, no rules anymore regarding uh, how you how you dress or anything like that. It's uh, as if I was in Spain almost. I can walk bare chest, not far from the beach. It's completely accepted. I'm not the only one doing that. I can wear very uh, short shorts. It's very different and it's actually very pleasant after uh, probably about uh, four months living uh, in in countries where uh, well, you can't really dress uh, all the time as you want. You have to cover yourself in order to be kind of modest somehow. So it's good also to have this oasis of freedom on the way across the Middle East. Yeah, and also here I rediscover basically it's been a very long time. <laughs> I rediscover that uh, women actually <laughs> exist and that there are a lot of women in the world. 
Because usually before in the streets in Iraq or in Jordan, you have much less women than men in the, in the streets. And here it's like back to almost 50-50. And I rediscovered that they have legs and, uh, and a body. <laughs> Well, and enough, enough talking, I guess. And now let's go to let's go to have lunch. Let's go to have a typical Egyptian lunch, which looks like a, very, looks very much like a Middle Eastern food. And that's the beach where you see some people start their dive. And that's where I go to to swim usually during the day. And actually, there is a coral reef also this way. So there are a few like coral reefs around the city. Very great, you don't even need to go to the big spots. You can just stay in the city and enjoy wonderful corals. So if there are not, not that many people, it's also because it's the middle of the day and it's, uh, it's very hot, it's 35 degrees. So usually it's much, much busier at night. Let's check the menu. Assalamu alaikum. Can I have a... Shakshoka? Mr. 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 Okay, I don't get it. I'll just go to sit and uh, hope, uh, hope someone comes to order because uh, because that's the place to order. I don't know. Maybe he didn't like the camera. Let's just sit and wait. Someone is gonna take an order at some point, hopefully. Actually, inside the guys, they all have the papers already, so they already ordered. So I don't know why he refused me to order. Okay, let's try our luck once again. Can I order? Okay. Hey, you can have shakshuka. One shakshuka plate. One shakshuka plate, yeah. Okay. And one uh, baba ganoush okay. and fried eggs. Okay. Yes. Omelette? Uh, yeah, omelette, yeah. One chakshuka, one baba ganoush, one yeah. fried egg. Yes, and I take a water off. No water. Okay. Take water off, 35. And water off, 35. Okay. Let's eat. I managed to order this time. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I miss the omelette still, but uh, that's the meal. So you see, that's shakshuka. I never had that before. That's, it looks like it's an Egyptian specialty. And we have the baba ganoush, which I love. I think it's based on uh, eggplants. Amazing. Let's try it for you. Mm. Oh. Very, very good. There is tomato, onions, a little bit of eggs, I think, a bit of spices. Fantastic. Yeah, and here I've got the omelette as well. I always take an omelette to have something a bit more consistent. Because if I take only this and this, it's just vegetables. <laughs> It's not gonna do anything to my hang to my um, anger. 
Mm. The baba ganoush is a salad. Well, it's a little bit sour. It's very, I don't know, the taste is quite special. You have to try, it's fantastic. And let's go for the omelette. Mmm. Good. That's that's the best. Oh, amazing. So you can see we are just by a big coral reef, so you could walk all the way. Maybe let's just show you walking. You can see the beautiful that's Dahab. That's the beautiful Bay of Dahab. I don't know how you call it. Very nice and like usual, like uh, like every day, I do nothing in the morning. Go to for lunch in the afternoon. I go for a swim to work to look, to look at the corals, and I will see you after the swim with for, with the corals for dinner, because I will not take you with me for the with the corals for the corals. But uh, let's see if we can walk a little bit. You can see I walk. And look at that. The corals are already starting here. That's some corals already. And very quickly, later, it goes deeper. So you can see, let's go give you a look. Here you can see some corals already. And deeper, it's... And deeper, it's even more beautiful. But like, yeah, you see? I was just there. And I am in the middle of the corals already. Very easily accessible. I'm not stepping on the corals though. Eh? I'm, I'm careful not to damage anything. Okay, see you for dinner, guys. The corals were really breathtaking. For me, it's amazing. It's the best snorkeling I, I had in my life just outside of the city. While I, uh, still I, I saw the corals in the Philippines, for example, and honestly it's better here. Anyway, another thing... Hello, <laughs> I should have filmed him. Uh, another thing I wanted to say, just to finish the differences... Oh, there is music. Just to finish, so the... the, 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 the differences between uh, Egypt and Jordan that I see, the main differences, humanly, Basically, Egyptians are also very welcoming, very hospitable, very nice, but they are uh, much more serious than uh, Jordanians. Jordanians would uh, smile a lot and also would talk to you very easily, while uh, so far Egyptians are more reserved. They don't, probably they, because they, they are more tourists. I don't know, maybe not. But anyway, yeah, they don't uh, seem to talk uh, that as easily as uh, Jordanians. And uh, basically, they don't smile in the same way as well. Like when you at, when you meet Egyptian people, they look very serious at first. Then when you start talking, they start smiling and be to be nice. But at first, they are very very serious, which is quite different from um, from Jordanian people. Anyway, to finish the video, let's go to have great uh, seafood feast here in the Hab. Hello. Ah. No, it's okay. Then. Thank you. You can see a barbecue restaurant just here. But that's not where we're going. We're going for seafood. Because I have a restaurant I go almost every day. It's very, very good. And it's uh, reasonably priced as well. And here we arrive at the restaurant. So you can see in Arabic it's here. And that's the menu in English. But I will not have anything of that. Or maybe I'll have... Actually, maybe I'll have this one. That's uh, like eight, eight euros. 
Let's go inside. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Can I... Can I sit there? Oh, let's go here. Let's go here. Hey, the corners. So let's see the menu, guys. You see the, the ashtray is full of water. And there's the music. Okay, let's turn the camera so you don't hear the music. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Uh, what I want to try is uh, mixed seafood tagine, 155, which is um, yeah about eight dollars. Let's try that mixed seafood tagine. Oh, they have octopus tagine also. Oh my god! Oh, that's very tempting. But mixed seafood, no mixed seafood is better. So they're gonna have everything. Huh? Video, yeah. YouTube, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's happy. So, let's start with the starters. Always, they always give you the starters. Uh, the starters. I don't know if it's starters or side dishes, but it's very good. Some salad. Some tahini. So, that's a sesame paste. <laughs> that's a, uh, Oh, sugar. And that's uh, baba ganoush, I guess. They always give you tahini and baba ganoush. It goes with the dish, basically. And that's a little bit of soup. Like fish soup. Awesome. Tahini. Mmm. Oh. That's very good. The baba ganoush, like previously in the video. Mm. Oh. Really fantastic. Let's have the salad. Oh, so good. So tasty. what we have. Maybe there is some, uh, some more coming, I don't know. Maybe some rice outside, some fish, nice sauce, some shrimps, some bell pepper, shrimps, fish, calamari, bell pepper. It looks very nice. So good. <laughs> Okay, so I had to uh, actually I had to order rice because it did not come with rice, but uh, I did not want to eat it alone. But let's go for it now. Look at this beautiful black rice from the Nile, I guess. Mmm, very good. Okay. A bit of octopus, nice. The shrimp, mm. oh, very good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, let's go back to the center to finish the video. And it's been um, almost a week I'm here. And it's quite strange. It's paradise. Everything is nice. The place is uh, awesome. But strangely enough, not with the camera, with you I feel uh, okay. I have, I feel full of something. But when I walk these streets, alone, at night, with all these people, in this beautiful place, it's paradise, but uh, I don't know, still I feel empty, yeah, 
paradise is boring somehow for me that's the way it is I always find it more uh, more interesting to do for adventures anyway yeah it's a weird feeling I had uh, I wanted to tell you that because it's what I felt yesterday basically I was walking the streets the beautiful streets was full of happy people but just felt empty empty completely empty like as if life was meaningless boring paradise see you for the next adventures guys <laughs>